You can prepare for a job interview by studying weeks in advance, but still, there's no guarantee that you won't be asked a question you have no idea how to answer. The trickiest and most important questions are designed to help employers gain a deeper understanding of details beyond what's listed on your resume. A potential sales candidate, for example, might be asked to talk through how they'd approach a short sales cycle differently than a long sales cycle. A candidate interviewing for a management role might be asked how they'd handle customer objections or a team conflict. These questions aren't always easy and they often cause most people to stress and freeze up. So, we brought you this video to get a better understanding of Wipro interview questions. Hey everyone, welcome to another exciting video from Simply Learn. In this session, we will be discussing Wipro interview questions. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So, if you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now without further ado, let's get started with the first question in today's session. Why Wipro? If a question asked like this, come up with an answer like Wipro is India's top IT company. It provides a fantastic environment to work for. Here, your qualities will be valued. The organization has worked in a range of fields and countries. Once you're inside, you'll have a variety of options based on your professional skills. Wipro also provides a good team to work with and work-life balance is excellent at Wipro. Next question. Mention the differences between String Buffer and String Builder in Java. The String Builder was developed as a drop-in replacement for the String Buffer. So it is not synchronized. It is not thread safe. So that you can only use it when the string buffer is used by string thread and it is faster in most cases. String buffer was developed before the string builder. String buffer is synchronized. So that the programs that use it take more memory and use the time to run the programs. Now the third question. Why do you want to work at a Wipro? The answer for this question will be I want to work at Wipro for a great record of innovation and success. Whenever I think of how much the technology has changed since the 1940s, I know Wipro would not have been able to thrive unless it embraced change. I am impressed with Wipro which has been in business since 1940. Now the fourth question. State the functionalities of an operating system. The answer for this question is, the functionalities of an operating system are an operating system provides a user interface, graphical user interface, and command line. An operating system also includes a functionality for booting the computer. It also performs some operations for managing and peripheral devices. Now the fifth question. What do you understand about Java Virtual Machine? The answer for this question is, JVM is a virtual machine that enables the computer to run the programs. JVM acts like a runtime engine that calls the main method present in the Java code. JVM is the specification that must be implemented in the computer system. Now we have the sixth question. List a few features of JavaScript. The few features of JavaScript are It is open source, lightweight, interpreted programming language, complementary to Java, complementary to HTML, and cross-platform. Now the next question. What is the use of window objects? The answer for this question is, the window object is not an object of JavaScript. It is a browser object created automatically by the browser that represents a window of browser. The window object is used to display the pop-up dialog box. Now we have the eighth question. What is C Sharp? C Sharp is a simple and general purpose programming language which is developed by Microsoft. It is a safe and managed language that is compiled by .NET Framework to generate Microsoft Intermediate Language. The ninth question in the list is, why do you want to work at Wipro? The answer for this question is, I want to work at Wipro for the great record of innovation and success. I know Wipro would not have been able to thrive unless it has embraced a change. I am impressed with Wipro that it has been in business since 1940. Now the next question. Now the next question. What is the difference between public, static and void? The difference between public, static and void are You can access public declared variables anywhere. 
static declared variables are globally accessible without creating an instance of the class. Void is a type modifier that specifies the method that does not return any value. Next question, what is SQL? SQL stands for Structured Query Language. It is used to maintain the relational database and perform many different data manipulation operations on the data. Next question, what is a class? The class is a user-defined data type that contains the data members and member functions whose access is defined by the three modifiers, public, private, and protected. Now we have the next question. What is polymorphism? Polymorphism means having more than one function with the same name but with different functionalities. Polymorphism is divided into two categories, static polymorphism and dynamic polymorphism. What is abstraction? Abstraction is a technique of showing essential details without representing the implementation. If the members are defined with a keyword public, then the members are accessible outside also. If the members are defined with a keyword private, then the members are not accessible by the outside methods. What is data binding? Data binding is a process of binding the application's user interface and business logic. If any change is made in the business logic, that will be reflected directly in the application UI. What is an object? Object is an instance of a class so that you can create an object from a class. The objects of a class are declared with the same sort of declaration that we declare variables of basic types. Next we have what is a destructor. A destructor is used to delete any extra resources allocated by the object. A destructor function is called automatically once the object goes out of the scope. Next question. What are checkpoints in DBMS? A checkpoint is a type of mechanism where all the previous logs are removed from the system and are permanently stored in the storage disk. These are checkpoints in DBMS. Now we have the 19th question. What is normalization? Normalization is a process of analyzing the given relationship schema according to their functional dependencies. It is also used to minimize the redundancy and also to minimize insertion, deletion and update destructions. Now we have the 20th question. What is a stack? Stack is an ordered list in which insertion and deletion can be performed only at one end that called the top. It is a recursive data structure having a pointer to its top element. Sometimes stack is also called last in first out or leave for list. The element which is inserted first in the stack will be deleted last from the stack. Now we have the 21st question. What do you mean by static variable? The static variable is used to refer to the common property of all the objects like name of the company, college name, students, etc. Static variable gets memory only once in the class area at the time of class loading. Next we have what is inheritance. Inheritance is a mechanism in which one object acquires all the properties and behavior of another object of another class. It is used for code reusability and method overriding. The idea behind the inheritance in Java is that you can create a new class that are built on top of existing classes. What is method overloading? Method overloading is a polymorphism technique that allows us to create multiple methods with the same name but different parameters. Is it possible to override the private method? No. It is not possible to override the private method because the scope of private method is limited to the class and we cannot access them outside the class. What is the use of DCL language? DCL allows users to control access and permission management to the database. It is a subset of database which decides that what part of the database should be accessed by which user at what point of time. It includes the common commands like grant and revoke. What is a primary key? A primary key is a field or the combination of fields that uniquely identify each record in the table. It is one of the special kind of unique key. If the column contains a primary key, it cannot be null or empty. The table can have duplicate columns, but it cannot have more than one primary key. Now the next question, what is an inconsistent dependency? An inconsistent dependency refers to the difficulty of getting relevant data due to the missing or broken path in the data. Now we have our next question. What is tree data structure? 
Tree data structure is a recursive data structure containing set of one or more data nodes where one node is designated as the root node of the tree while the remaining nodes are called as the child nodes. Now, what does success mean to you? In my point of view, I define success as fulfilling my role in my team and the company. I trust that my employer has placed me in a position where I'm capable of achieving the goals of company and my team. So, I work towards completing my individual duties as effectively as possible. Now, the next question, what is tree traversal? Tree traversal is, repeat, tree traversal is a process of visiting all the nodes of a tree. All nodes are connected via edges, links. We always start from the root node, head node. There are three types of tree traversal, which are in-order traversal, pre-order traversal and post-order traversal. Now the 31st question. How does depth first traversal work? The answer for this question is Depth first search algorithm traverses a graph in a depthward motion and uses a stack to remember to get the next vertex to start search when a dead end occurs in any iteration. Now the 32nd question. What is a selection sort? Selection sort is in place sorting technique. It divides the data set into two sublists known as sorted and unsorted. Then it selects the minimum element from the unsorted sublist and places it into sorted list. This iterates unless all the elements from the unsorted sublist are consumed into sorted sublist. Now we have the 33rd question. What are the advantages of selection sort? The advantages of selection sort are selection sort is a simple and easy to implement. Selection sort can be used for small data sets. Selection sort is more efficient than bubble sort. Now we have our next question. What is an attribute? An attribute refers to a database component. It can be defined as the characteristics of entity and can be uniquely identified using the attributes. Attributes represents the instances in the row of a database. Now we have our 35th question. What is synchronization? Synchronization is the capability to control the access of multiple threads to shared resources. Synchronized keyword in Java provides locking that ensures mutual exclusive access of shared resources and prevents data race. Now we have our next question. List some application of tree data structure. The answer for this question is the applications of tree data structure are symbol table construction, the manipulation of automatic expression, hierarchical data model, syntax analysis and much more. Now we have the 37th question. Which data structure is used in BFS and DFS algorithms? The data structures used in BFS and DFS algorithms are Q data structure and stat data structure respectively. Now we have our next question. Now we have our next question. Can we overload the main method? The answer for this question is yes, we can have any number of main methods in Java program by using method overloading. Now the 39th question. What is a search operation? The answer for this question is, whenever an element is to be searched, start searching from root node. Then if the data is less than the key value, search for the element in the left subtree. Or in simple term, we can say that searching for the element is in the right subtree. Now we have the next question. What is linear data structure? A linear data structure has data elements arranged in sequential manner and each member element is connected to its previous and next element. Such data structures are easy to implement as computer memory is also sequential. Example, list, queue, stack, array, etc. Now the next question, write a program to check palindromes. The answer for this question is displayed right on my screen. You can take a quick screenshot for future reference. Now we have another simple question based on code. How to split string in Java? The answer for this question is really simple. The answer is right on my screen. You can use the following code to split a string using Java programming language. Here we have given simply learn as a string and you can use the split function in Java to split it. Now we have our next question. What is object cloning? The object cloning is used to create the exact copy of an object. Java.lang.clonable interface must be implemented by the class whose object clone we want to create. Now we have our 44th question. List a few advantages of DBMS. The few advantages of DBMS are, it provides multiple user interfaces. 
redundancy control ensures data consistency, restriction for unauthorized access, easy accessibility, provides backup and recovery, and forces integrity constraints. Now we have 45th question. What is the purpose of default constructor in Java? The purpose of default constructor in Java is to assign the default value to the objects. Java compiler creates a default constructor implicitly if there is no constructor present in the class. Now we have our next question. What are functions in Python? A function is a block of code that is executed only when the function is called. To define a function in Python, the def keyword is used. Next we have another simple coding question. Write a program to check if the number is prime or not. The answer for this question is right on my screen. You can make a quick note of it or feel free to take a screenshot for future reference. The program is written using C programming language. Now, the next question. Explain about doc string in Python. So the answer for this question is, doc string is a string literal that occurs as the first statement in function class, module or method definition. It also provides a better way to associate the documentation. Now we have 49th question. Mention SQL comments. The answer for this question is SQL comments are two types. They are single line comments, multi line comments. And the final question for today's session is what are the uses of super keyword? The answer for this question is the uses of super keyword are it is used to invoke the immediate parent class method. It is also used to refer the immediate parent class instance variable. It can also be used to invoke immediate parent class constructor and this was all for today's session i hope now you guys have an idea of how to answer the questions asked in wipro interview if you have any questions would you please let us know in the comment section below we have our experts to answer them as soon as possible thanks for watching and stay tuned for more from simply learn Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.